So, Arlene, I, I want to bring you in on this. What do you make of the fact that the RMT are proposing these kind of wide-scale strikes? And do you think the government is justified in the action that they want to take? Well, first of all, um, Paul's right. Uh, workers will suffer if uh, unions go on strike. But of course, that's always the case. It's the workers that suffer. It's not the union bosses that will suffer uh, as a result of the strike that they're pushing. Uh, and I think it's quite disgraceful to read uh, Mick Lynch's comments today as if he's celebrating the fact that he's going to have the biggest general strike since 1926, as if that's something that should be celebrated. There's no reality uh, in respect of what's being proposed here because workers will suffer. Uh, and I think it points again to the fact that trade unions are actually out of touch with the people that they are supposed to be representing. Uh, they should be representing them on the cost of living crisis. They should be representing them on the issues that matter to them. Uh, and we talked about this last week in terms of the student unions, the way in which a lot of unions have become so politicised that they've got themselves involved in a lot of issues that, frankly, they shouldn't be involved in. And I thought it was very interesting to read this morning that uh, in terms of the education unions, 30, only 30 per cent believe uh, I think it was that uh, they are satisfied with the support that they gain from their union when they need their union. Their union should be there to support them when they're in difficulties, when they need their help, instead of all of this grandstanding around general strikes and trying to hold people to ransom. And what about the government's proposed um, measures then? Because my understanding is it's looking specifically at um, ensuring there's a minimum number of people working so that essential services can remain. Do you think that sort of strikes the right balance? Well, I do, because I think government has a responsibility to the wider public to make sure that public services are available for them when they need those public services. And that's why they're looking at uh, putting these, leg these legislative pieces in place to try and protect the public, whilst union leaders are pushing ahead with strikes, which they know are going to cause great uh, disservice to the general public. But despite that, uh, they intend to push ahead, which I think is completely wrong.